Mother Bird, okay, bud. Um, Autumn Leaves is kind of in G minor, but uh, it starts on a C minor, which is the fourth chord. And you can start by playing just basic triads, and they move in a, in a pretty standard jazz pattern. C minor to F major to B flat to E flat. Now you have an A diminished. And then D7, which is the only note outside the key, that F sharp, the third of the chord. And then G minor is kind of the home bass. And then just add the seventh to each one. So for C, um, your seventh is here. It's your um, B flat. So. Okay, F, add the uh, E flat. And you remember you can add it on the bottom too. Okay, B flat. The seventh is a natural seventh because it's a major seventh. So instead of. E flat to major seventh too. So you add the note just below the tonic. In both cases. For the A half diminished, this is just a tricky one. Um, so the way to do this is, let's see how that would show You want to play C and the flat five, which is an E flat, and G and an A. That's your tonic right there. It's clear, not clear how it all comes out of the chord because we're not using that shape really. And then you have your D7, which is what you just played, and G minor. And that seventh. It's not an exciting arpeggio, that one. Let's see. At least learn these changes. And we can talk more about it if you actually get up with Tracy and, and you get interested in it and listen to the song. For the fish song, the traffic light song, what I want you to do is create your own melody at each station that it's a deliberate connection between the chords. So for instance, going from this A, you came up with something like going to that G chord. Again. And then from here, you can do different things with the D. But try not to play on the same note you're already on. So if I'm on the D root, I'd go somewhere else. And then to the E chord. Whatever, that was crappy, but you get the idea. Do that starting here, 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 and uh, here. Get four different versions like that. And then we did the, the one, no, we did the three, one, two, flat, three, three thing. So we did, um, And you can start with the triad, A, G, F, D, I mean, and E. And we decided you could go. Try that in any position too, it might be worth it. I mean, it'd definitely be worth it. And once you've learned it one place, you kind of know it everywhere, so. That was sloppy. And then my E. Guess you can do the A that way too. Try that everywhere too. I think those two things, a basic melodic connection at each different triad station, and some kind of um, three, one, two, flat, three, three at each station would really help you see how to interlock these a little bit more smoothly and to get some cool melodies really happening. Uh, the jazz song, we would need a whole lesson talking about that because there's just too much new information.